There is truly something magical about vintage gear. Look how beautiful this Nikon F body is and that amazing 50 millimeter F14 that was just standard at the time. New bodies, they have all the features, but there's something that's lacking. The character, the emotion, the imperfection of these lenses. These lenses are not as good as modern lenses, not by far, but they capture a quality and we don't always need all that perfection. There's a problem though. Using these vintage lenses requires giving up so much modern convenience. It requires giving up that workflow. And while I love the feeling of these lenses, I also love not having to develop film and wait a week to get the results. I also don't really miss missing autofocus. This is the TechArt TZM02, their second generation autofocus adapter for Nikon cameras. This by default adapts Leica M lenses to Nikon. Let's attach it here. It attaches just like you might attach your non autofocus Nikon FTZ adapter. And now I can attach my Leica lenses like this Voigtlander 35 millimeter F12. By the way, something that does not exist for any autofocus system now, but I could autofocus with this. And then I'll just snap it right in there. And now I'll focus the lens to infinity and watch what happens when I turn the camera on. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The adapter moves the lens in and out to achieve autofocus. When it moves further away, it's focusing on something close. And when it moves the lens back towards the camera, it's focusing at a distance at infinity. And this is so powerful because it means I can use any lens that I could attach here with autofocus. But does it work very well? Let's see. I couldn't focus on the lens in front of me because it was too close, but you know what I can do? I can focus the lens to its minimum focusing distance and then the adapter actually acts like an extension tube, allowing me to focus even closer. So incredibly cool. And I've been working with the Sony version of this for a few months now and just having so much fun adapting not only my Leica lenses, but my Canon and my Nikon vintage lenses. And it gives them all new life by not just allowing me to use a digital workflow, which I could always do, but by allowing me to use autofocus, because that means I can get more candid shots, shots even of slowly moving subjects. The autofocus doesn't work like it would on a brand new Nikon Z lens or a Sony lens, but it works. It's good enough for still subjects. This Nikon adapter has a unique feature though, and that it is supposed to support tracking video. So I'm going to turn off my Sony camera here and put my Nikon Z in its place. I've got two layers of adapters here. The first is the TechArt adapter, lefty tighty. The second adapter goes from Leica M to Nikon F mount, which goes in the opposite direction. And now I'm ready to attach my Nikon lens. This once again will go counterclockwise. Now I'm recording with the Nikon Z9 with my Voigtlander Nocton 35mm f1.2 for an impossibly shallow depth of field. Depth of field that we could not get with any modern autofocus lens. Obviously, this isn't working. I filmed the entire rest of the video using the Z9 and the TechArt adapter, and I had to scrap all that footage. So you are seeing this re-recorded. I tried it with 35, 50, 105 millimeters, wide open, f4, f8, f16. I never got it to hold steady. Every permutation pulsed in and out. It's not good. Find that, find it. I'm not happy with it. I'm okay with that. I had no interest in using this for video, but they did advertise it, so I had to test it, and the results are not good. But I just got back from a walk with Chelsea around Mystic and not for the sake of the video, but just for fun, I brought my Z7 Mark II 
and the TechArt adapter and my Voigtlander 35 millimeter F 1.2, sort of my favorite walking around lens on my Leica. But the reason I use this instead of my all manual focus Leica is that I can hang it around my neck like this. And I was walking the dogs. So I can turn this on and just autofocus and grab a quick shot. And it works fantastically. And if my hand is free, and I feel like manually focusing, I can do that because I use the AF on button. So it never auto focuses without my specific request. And this sort of casual manual focus or auto focus vintage experience, I, I just love it. And I love those sort of snapshot images. It gives you the vintage experience, weird flaring and like these rainbows, low contrast and washed out pictures. The pictures look like those from your grandparents' photo album. And I love that. They are deliberately imperfect. I'm never quite sure what I'm going to get for a technical person like me that makes me give up on perfection and pixel peeping. And it keeps me in the moment a little bit more and it lets me enjoy the process of shooting. And the results are different than my usual, more technically perfect style. They just have feeling and they're real. I keep it on continuous and I always snap a few photos and move in and out a little bit to make sure that I get focus. Sometimes with longer telephoto lenses over 50 millimeters, the movement that the adapter is capable of might not be enough to focus on everything out to infinity and up close. So you might have to estimate the distance with the lens and maybe estimate a little bit further out than you think and then allow the lens to finish the autofocus process. Things like eye detect, they work perfectly. I just used all autofocus points because I knew if it didn't work, I was just gonna take over and manually focus anyway. So overall, my experience shooting this for video is terrible. My experience shooting this for stills is excellent on both Sony and Nikon, but there are some caveats. This is a Chinese company and the firmware update app has not been fully translated, not been translated at all in the Mac as far as I could tell. So everything's in Chinese. And on my Sony adapter, I could never get the USB to work. And they're gonna send me a replacement. Like they have a one year warranty. Um, but if you buy it from Amazon or eBay, you do not get a one year warranty, but you can return it if you don't like it to Amazon because that's Amazon's policy. But if you buy it from their website, you cannot return it you're locked in, but they will replace it or repair it and send it back to you. So if you think you might return it, get it from Amazon. If you're more worried about the warranty, get it directly from them. You can tell the adapter that you're using a different focal length by setting the f-stop number on your camera. I'm never gonna remember those, so I printed the focal lengths I use on a label and stuck it to the adapter. If that sounds like something you want, the ability to use vintage lenses and shoot one-handed autofocus sometimes or grab the lens and manually focus it. It's fantastic for that. There's nothing else that can really do that. So check it out at these links. We have an affiliate relationship, but this video is not sponsored. As you can probably tell by the way I was hypercritical about some things like the app and the usability. So you can trust our reviews. If you have follow-up questions about it, write a comment down below, or if, or if you've had your own experiences, I know other people would like to see that. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more unbiased reviews. Thanks and bye.